I know that Sin City has never mm. really belonged to a specific state. Right. If it did, though, <laughs> which one it would be a part of? My state of mind. Ooh. Ooh. That's why he's Frank Miller. Touche. <laughs> I just got Millered. <laughs> I did. It's, it's, it's Miller time. Sin City's where you go in with your eyes open. Or you don't come out at all. Yeah. Certified fresh. Uh-huh. I love you that. You know what that means. You're it's like cool, an man. RT expert. Seriously, I yeah. love Rotten Tomatoes. And, I, really? and, 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 and the fact that you can read all the articles right there and you can read the little blurbs or you can go in and read the whole, anyway. I need you. This is like you, me selling your deal. I need you to come along with me to tell people. I need you to sell people. my deal. All right, good. Here we go then. Let's talk about you nude falling on things. That's a good way to sell it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what the Rotten Tomatoes percentage is on my nudity, but you know, hopefully fresh. Certified Fre fresh. Certified fresh. Yep. What up? Mm -hmm. What did it feel like? What? Murdering an innocent man. I just want to know what it felt like. It must have been beautiful. What are you talking about, innocence? I knew I could count on you. Sex always made you stupid, ready to believe anything. <laughs> You've just made me a very rich woman. I was thinking how you play pretty much the most evil villain this summer. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you that title for sure. <laughs> Do you think that she has any kind of redeeming qualities at all whatsoever? That's fascinating. And is it more fun to play a character like that yeah. or is it harder? It's harder because usually when you play a baddie, you're like, oh, let's find some humanity in her and some cracks. Here, I mean, you have, it is in Frank Miller's world, you know, it's, and it is extreme. It, then all the characters are very much heightened yeah. and it's not real. So it was just to embrace it fully and to go, okay, I'm gonna play 100% evil. And she is, you know, she, she has no conscience. Uh, she doesn't think twice. She just wants something. She'll get it no matter who gets hurt. I mean, she's, yeah. Scary. Yeah. Really frightening. <laughs> the first movie, she was sort of this sweet, naive um, damsel in distress. Mm -hmm. And she really was the only kind of light in this world of darkness. And, uh, it, you know, at this point, with the second one, she's, she's been spoiled and she feels kind of cynical and sad. And you want, you're rooting for her. You want her to come out of it. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and then when she does, it's so satisfying. Looks like trouble. Uh, looks like Christmas.